retire with uh, real estate investing. Uh, three easy ways I'm going to give you here to show you how uh, you could do that and play a long-term or short-term short-term uh, game here. So we can do it through creative real estate investing. Uh, so today, this is um, day number 23. Sorry, week number 23, day number four. Uh, and today, what we're going to do is we're going to call first, and then we're going to be doing the, the three strategies. Typically, what we do is uh, we uh, give you a little training and then go into phone calls. But today, I want to start the phone calls right away because I have a lot to get through. Uh, and we've been doing this for 23 weeks now, and we have a lot of phone calls to make. And so we are backed up. Uh, we are uh, getting some properties uh, closed, uh, some under contract, some follow-ups, some appointments. Uh, so we are really, really, really busy. And uh, this is a live training. So you're going to hear me live, live phone calls, you know, asking people to be the bank. Uh, so I'm going to put it here in your description. Uh, we're going to ask people to sell me the property and finance it for me. <laughs> so I don't have to go to the bank. I don't have to go to people. Uh, so we are doing the two most important activities in real estate, which is finding deals and finding money. And we do it all with one, one, one phone call, which is asking the sellers to finance for us. Right. So I don't have to go raise capital. I don't have to go do anything like that. Uh, and that's pretty much what I do in the process of doing that. We get to see some wholesale deals. We get to see some flips, uh, stuff like that. So stick here with me. We're going to call right now and then come back and explain certain things. But this is pretty much my journey in retiring with uh, real estate investing and specifically how I'm retiring using creative real estate investing. That's what it means when we ask a seller to finance the property for us. So we don't have to ask a bank to finance the property for us. We ask directly the seller to finance the property for us, which is uh, uh, fantastic. It is fantastic. So uh, what I do here, I'm logging into my CRM. On that CRM, uh, I am hitting up people who have who we haven't closed, but they've been on our pipeline and then we deemed them as dead. So let's get right into it and call the first one. Usually it's gonna start, you know, it's gonna start very slow and then, you know, we may go an hour or two and then out of that one hour or two training and talking to sellers, uh, we will get typically one or two people uh, who are considering it. And so we do that five days a week, six days a week. And then uh, so we have like between, you know, 10 people, uh, seven to 10 people every single week. And then so that's, you know, 20 or so per month. And out of that, we close between seven to 10 people a month. So those are great numbers. Uh, and if you're interested in participating in some of those, uh, you can reach out to me. <clears throat> so, okay. So we are going to make this first phone call here. Let's see what happens here. Okay, something is off here. Something's off. So let's see, it was ringing wrong here, so I think I fixed it. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Glenn Bowyer. 
no answers, so we'll move on to the next. <clears throat> okay. Sold. We've got sold. Yes, hello. Um, <clears throat> yeah, may I speak to Anna, please? Hello? Hung up on me. <laughs> Very common, so get used to that if you're going to be on the phones. <clears throat> Okay, so I'll explain real quick. Uh, most of these reads, they have been deemed as dead. And so what happens here on my system is uh, trying to make sure that we aren't missing anybody and that we get people. But um, the goal here, like I said, is we can, we go and we ask people if, Number one, they would like to sell. Number two, if they do want to sell, would they finance the property for us, right? And this is the meat and potatoes of this. You can do this. Anybody can do this. All you got to do is like ask people. Pick up the phone and ask people. Don't go to a real estate agent. The agent is doesn't want to do that because it's not beneficial for an agent to, to do it that way or they think that it's not. So the goal is to get uh, 10 to 100 properties. That's my goal is 100 properties, all seller financed, hopefully for me, my own portfolio. Uh, all seller financed and those properties zero down <laughs> zero down zero interest i i know that a lot of people will say that on youtube and stuff but they just give you the theory of it but they don't show you that they're actually doing it here my channel you know i i've done it you know, I've been doing it, so I know it works because I've been doing it. And because I've been doing it, I know it's a lot of work. So what I decided to do was create these videos so that you can see how uh, it works and you can do it yourself. So follow me in this journey and hopefully you can start doing the same thing on your end. So how many properties can we buy that way? The answer is all of them. Anyone that's willing to sell, who wants to sell, I don't care if they want to sell for retail or above, as long as they finance the property for me and as long as it cash flows, why do I care? Let them make money. It's the tenant that's going to have to pay it, not the seller and not me. Right. So, so that's what I do on my own. But then when I partner with people like you, people contact me from these videos and they're like, man, I'm interested. And I'm like, okay, let's do some deals. This is what I have and send that to them. And they're doing it. So I wanted to create a, a community where, you know, I'm sharing deals. You guys are sharing deals. We are, you know, putting our money to do a bigger deal, you know, that type of stuff. 
So, so join me, contact me, the information is below. So what we're doing here is we're following up with people. Okay, this is in Cape Coral, vacant land, 45K. Okay, it's on the market. We want things that are off market. For the most part, uh, if it's a house, I will talk to them, but this one I canceled the call because it's a lot, a vacant lot. And I want to talk to people who have a house. They sold this for 15K, that was a good price. So, you know, I personally keep about two deals every other month, personally, 100%, my own. So the rest of the deals, I join venture, no, every three months, let me just be more conservative. Every three months, I will keep a deal. But the rest of the deals, you know, my partners do. And I also, they give me, you know, a percentage of that. So it's a good deal for me. Okay, so I have my job is just to find the deal. And then they bring in the capital to buy it or we JV. And then we get the deal done. Or they simply just buy it, you know, 100% from me. So whatever, uh, whatever you're, you're uh, wanting to do, we can, we can work out. No address. So all of these are very pesky because they have no address and so I have to kind of find the ones that we actually can talk to somebody and have a conversation two rings and I'm out I'm done okay <clears throat> okay, this one here is in Kentucky. Let's see if it's still available. Uh, it's for sale right now. I think someone rehabbed it. To an agent, I really don't want to have to deal with agents. On the market. So three rings and I move on. In Washington, let's see, uh, pending. Pending.
Okay. All right, man. This one is in Colorado and it's sold. Okay. Yeah, so that's the life of a of a real estate investors. We we go through a lot of data. So either you do it or you hire somebody to do it for you, but it's got to be done. You can't really skip this step. You really can't, you know. The cold calls you can you can you know assign to somebody else. But as far as like these calls here, the follow-up calls, you got to do them. And the people that do a lot of deals from what I've seen with my friends and stuff, they are really good at follow-up. And then you can, once your team is really big, you can delegate that out. Sorry, the number you entered is not a subscribe. Goodbye. But... Um, it's uh, it's hard to find a acquisitions person so it will take a while but that that's pretty much it that's the system the system is get a list skip trace the list and so the list can be somebody that is about to lose their, their home because it's going to foreclosure, right? Or some people are going to be divorced. They probably will want to sell the house. So you call them, you skip trace them, you pull that list, you skip trace that list, which means uh, you go and you find, you find, um, you find the phone number for the people in that list. You find their relatives' phone numbers. You find, you know, previous phone numbers that they've had. Uh, and then you call everybody. And then finally, you reach somebody. You either reach the owner or somebody who can give you the phone number to the owner. Uh, and then you call the owner. You finally got a good phone number and they do want to sell. All of that takes so much work. So it's better to just outsource all of that so that you don't have to deal with it. And then all you do is you just kind of talk to the people who, after all of that work has been done, they do want to sell. And those are called the follow-up calls. Hello? Those are the follow-up calls that, uh, that I'm making right now. But even then, we get bad numbers. We people, you know, get a new phone number or whatever, and then, uh, you know, then we have to reskip trace it again, find their new phone number, etc. 
and, and and then do it again and do it again chasing people all the time you're like a private detective you know uh but the, it just takes a lot of time you know so you can get really good at that and then start but you have to be good at it and then you can delegate it to to somebody you know and then they can do it if if you don't do that then they're going to take advantage of you and and it's going to be very hard so you have to understand the job first what we're trying to do and then from there you can delegate delegate it out to somebody else and so because i'm not building a huge business or anything like that i'm looking for properties for myself i don't mind doing this you know for you know, a portion of the day. Because even though I did reach retirement a, a while ago, a decade ago or so, uh, wow. please listen carefully as the number you have dialed may have changed. This call may be recorded for training purposes. Even though I did reach that retirement, what happens is that you get bored especially if you're younger because there's no one to hang out with because most people are hustling out there you know building their businesses so no one your age or younger or something or around your age or something you know they're not you can't relate versus if you're like 62 you know or whatever there's plenty of retirees so if you retire you, you don't get as bored because there's activities and things you know so you you uh, you just kind of find yourself like in a very odd situation like that. Uh, plus, you you you. It, in my case, you know, your body wants to wants to keep working, and so I decided to jump back in, and, and and that's what I'm doing right now. But I decided to do it differently. I wanted to help people, and so that's why I started this channel here. So that's why I want you to contact me. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I would appreciate that. And the people who can find this useful will also appreciate it. Cape Coral. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system, the Flint. Directly to voicemail. Okay, Lehigh Acres. Let's see here in Florida. Oh, nice. There's a house right next to this empty lot. Let's see here. No answer, it just went to voicemail, okay. Next. Okay, another property here in Florida. By the way, I get properties all over the country. So if you want to partner, we can because I get them everywhere. Eight, 
Nothing, okay. Let's go into the next here. Okay, let's see here. I don't think it has sold at all. So let me, owns multiple lots. Let's see here. Okay, it's not letting me call for whatever reason here. Gonna have to skip it. Oh, there we go. Basil is his name. Hopefully we can talk to somebody here. I don't wanna Yes, uh, Basil. Who is calling? This is Ben. Uh, ben. How can I help you, Ben? Yeah, am I speaking to Basil? No, you're not. You're just speaking to his wife. How can I help you? Okay, I apologize about that. No, I was calling back. I had spoken. Uh, Actually, as uh, my assistant had spoken to Basil about a few a few lots that you guys have over on uh, Lehigh Acres, uh -huh. and wanted to see if uh, you guys still wanted to move forward in selling them. Which lot are you talking about? Well, specifically, I called about uh, Columbus Avenue. But how much are you giving for Columbus Avenue? Oh, I wanted to see how much you wanted. I, I'm not. I <laughs> Give me an idea. Give me an idea how much uh, that is. About 60,000. 60,000, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and how many more lots do you have? Quite a few more. Quite a few more. Are you... Uh, that's the only one acre. One acre. I see online that somebody built a property right next to it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, can we do like a package deal if I buy all your lots? You buy all my lots? Yeah. Do you have a lot of money? Uh, huh? <laughs> no. You buy all my lots? How many do you have? No, we have about four more. Four? Okay. Yeah. Four half acre more. Uh, so one is one acre and then four or half acre. Half acre, right. Uh huh. Okay. And uh, how much for the half acre ones? Well, the half acre ones are like 30,000. So 30K each and 60K for the one acre. Okay. So we're talking uh, about one, 180 is what you want for all of them? That's about right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you negotiable at all on that price? No, dear. No. Is anything going up more? Uh -huh. You have a lot of money invested in them? Not really. Not really. Okay. You just want to. So, are you an investor? I, I I'm have curious. I'm invested in them because I clean them up. I, I, um, two of them are no trees on there. They are already clean. You clear them. Okay. Right? Okay. Mm. Okay. What about the Columbus? The Columbus Avenue? That is that all cleared up? Okay. Okay. Tell me about the utilities, please. Uh, do uh, are we gonna have uh, city utilities, or do we have to do you know septic, well, uh, all that yeah. kind of on all of them? Yep. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Listen, I mean, uh, yeah, we can work something out. Um, I'm interested. If uh, if I if I'm able to give you the 180, are you uh, willing to help me with the financing? What finance? The credit card? No, 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 no. With the financing, uh, will you let me make payments on that? Yeah, will you let me make payments on this? I'm to help you make payments on that? No, 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 no. I make payments to you. No, 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 dear. If you don't have the cash up front, you, 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 you have to wait until you get it. Mm, okay. Okay, goodbye. Okay, thank you. <laughs> she, she's a tiger. Okay, she has four lots that are half acre and one lot that is one acre. at six once. Okay, I'm doing like this once, 60K. And this one wants 30K each. Okay. I asked her if we could do seller finance and she said no and okay so make my notes so if i come back you know to them later i see the notes or somebody else so let's uh go on to the next no skin off my nose because there's people who are willing Oh, where am I calling? Oh, I'm sorry. I got the wrong number. Thanks. No problem. Okay, so. Let's see here. Uh, did it sell? It's not sold. Okay, this looks nice. Wisconsin, okay. Man. Call not going through. I should try back later okay Okay, so. Welcome to Spectrum. Spectrum. Now offering. Dead. Okay. Okay, so we just keep looking. We're mining for gold, right? That's all we're doing. We're sifting, we're sifting, we're sifting. We're 
we're making moves here so that we can speak to the right person and one of them looks like it might be a good deal but then uh you know it turns out to be fool's gold sold there's a lot of fool's gold um out there so you just kind of have to know how to recognize the good the good deals any deal is a good deal as long as it cash flows and the financing is not going to change to where it will not cash flow eventually you know so i don't i don't look for deals that are wholesale deals and i don't look for deals that are flips I've been there, done that, had the t-shirt, you know, and I don't like that business. It's terrible on my taxes and, and uh, it's very, uh, I don't know, uh, time consuming. Let's just put it that way. Sold. It doesn't give me what I want. It doesn't fit what I'm trying to do, which is I'm trying to reach financial freedom here, you know, and increase my portfolio, et cetera, et cetera. or grow my portfolio, I should say. This is sold. and now also Fed loans are no longer servicing any student loans and all student loan payments will remain suspended until the end of August. After that, your payments will... Hello, this is to inform you that Navient and now also Fed loans are no longer servicing any student loans. Okay, now that, that doesn't make any sense at all. So we just called that. And that's not what I was expecting. Uh, lead has passed away. Oh, this lead passed away. Well, this is probate. I mean, how come we marked it as, as dead? Wow. Okay, so that was that was bad. <laughs> and the property is still still hasn't been sold. So uh let's see here. One of our peers here, uh Harry, okay. Hello. The person you're calling is using a screening service for all state local call blockers. Oh, Please man. say your name and the reason you're calling. Hey, my name is Ben. Got it. Please press one to be connected. Thanks. Please hold while we connect your call. Let's see here. Please keep holding. We're still trying to connect your call. Please keep holding. We're still trying to connect your call. 
好。Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice message system. One nine five two three three four one one six three. Okay, so sad. Okay, so uh, uh, me. I'm going to move this into a separate. I'm moving this into contact made because I believe there of it as a probate lead thereafter. Okay. Okay. Okay, so uh, let's... Uh, Go back here. Uh, and let's keep calling here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do some cold calls <laughs> because uh, I want to show you how difficult this is to, you know, pester people all the time and getting them upset and just pretty much what it takes to to find some deals, uh, sift for gold. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do this. And then I had to, to, to come out of that system because that, that lead, we threw it away. And I'm glad I'm going through these leads because it should not have been thrown out. Uh, and so, so sad that that lead passed away, but um, that's a probate, still wanna buy that property. So, Okay, uh, so I'm going to call now. This is in Florida, Lehigh Acres. Let's see about this property. One's fifty thousand, but let me offer fifteen. Hello. Oh. Didn't pick, didn't pick up, so move on. OK. 
Okay, more or less again. So yeah, we're just organizing data all the time, and you know, you're 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 as good as your data in this business. That's really pretty much. And agents, you know, agents are not going to do this. If you go hire an agent, they won't. They won't. They won't go and find you anyone. You pretty much have to do it yourself or get in touch with somebody like me or a wholesaler or people like that that have off-market deals. Sorry, this phone number is not authorized in our system. Please make sure you are using the correct number. Hmm. Interesting. All right, Cape Coral and Florida here. Let's see if we can get a deal here. Hi, this is Mike. Can't get to the phone right now. So we can please leave your name and Okay, people are busy right now. So Minneapolis, okay. Sold, okay. Sold. Okay. Hello. Yes, hello. Um, Who are you calling from again? Uh, Bayou. What do you want? Yeah, I was just uh, looking to see. I have to Who reach. Who are you calling from again? Hello? That was strange. Okay, so anyway. 407, okay, let's see here. Fax. Pending, oh man, they're selling this. Okay, pending.
Lehigh Acres, let's see. Sold 17K. Okay. We're sorry. You have reached a number that is no longer. The toll free number you have dialed. No longer in service. Please check the number. In. Okay, no address here. Fort Myers, okay. Okay, so let's go over to uh, to a. Let's see if we can make some cold calls here because we have not connected here with anybody, and then we'll try to do other types of phone calls here. Some easier calls. Okay. See here. Okay, here we go. Um, so I'm logging into this next space over here. Bear with me. Okay. You know what? Let's uh, let's make actual follow ups instead. Uh, so easier calls. Uh, let's, let's let's go here. Okay, so these are pretty much uh, have not been marked as dead. But um, they're not easy, but we should get a little bit of results here. Message system four zero eight three nine eight nine. Okay, so no answer. I'm going to uh, go to the next. Property has not been sold. Hello? Hello? Hello, can you hear me?
Can you hear me okay? Hello? Okay, so go through here. Well, today has Your disappointed because we cannot get a hold of anyone today. Today is Thursday morning, and uh, I guess people are not picking up. Oh, this is fantastic. Lucky here. Your call has been forwarded to an... Okay. Let's see here. Still. Please leave your message for nine. Okay, this is, um, I think uh, <laughs> today is just not a day when people reply. Okay, this sold for 432. Hello? Okay, so she sold it. She picked up as soon as I did that, but uh, let, let me kind of see here. Sold it. Yeah, 432 sold. Four thirty two sold on 2020. Um, Four thirty-two. Okay, maybe I looked at it wrong. Yeah, twenty twenty. So, uh, yeah, I should not have hung up on her. <laughs> Let's see, Megan, call her again. Hello, hello, Megan. Good morning. This is Ben. How are you? Good, good. Thank you for asking. I was uh, returning the phone call a, a few weeks back. We had spoken about your property there on uh, Bathford Street, and uh, you had indicated that you might wanted to might want to sell it. So I wanted to see if uh, you were you were still thinking about that. Um. So I made my payment for this month, and I have enough in savings to make it for next month, and I don't know what I'm going to do from there. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So, okay. So, um, job wise, it, it, things are looking looking better. Um, I go on interviews, but they hire other candidates, so oh, man. I don't know. Like I've been, I've been out the workforce. Like I believe I told you, like for <laughs> the last year due to health issues. Yeah. And so, I still have like one more big appointment coming up. So, yeah. it makes it hard. 
Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. How big are your payments, or how how much are they? It's like twenty one thirty five, something like that. That's a big chunk. Yeah, but I have a very low interest rate. So I wanted, yeah. if I can, stay in here. Yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I don't know, man. Oh man, yeah that that's a that's a that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I'm sorry to hear that uh, you're not you're not getting hired. What uh, are you applying for uh, to big companies and stuff or uh, mid size? So I've got a job fair this afternoon from one to four. So like, hopefully I'll get something there. Like mm -hmm. I've so far I've been kind of picky because I don't want to travel. I don't want to commute. Yeah, um, and. Also, I need to make nineteen dollars an hour or more mm -hmm. to be able to afford my bills. Yeah. So I can't afford minimum wage, but I'll take minimum wage if that's all I can get for now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm trying to think if I know if I know somebody. What uh what what line of work remind me again? So like my two so I worked for 14 years for the state doing finance stuff, mm -hmm. and that was fine, I guess. I was really good at it, mm -hmm. but what I want is, <laughs> this is going to sound dumb, I want to yeah. be a lunch lady or a caregiver. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. You know, I'll give you, I'll give you an idea. Uh, one of my relatives uh, had kids you know and he uh he and his wife you know they they went into into bad financial situation and i recommended this and, and it worked for them so it has some legs which is uh part of what you're saying so so what i said was hey put an ad on the paper uh, i know that you know online it, it it's going to reach more people but people still read the paper and the type of people that read the paper are you know older people and so forth and so I, I, I said to, to pull, put an ad on the paper and advertise that they would be like live-in uh, caregivers. And they got all kinds of calls from, you know, sons and daughters of elderly people. Uh, and the, they, they ended up getting hired by an elderly person or by the, 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 sibling, the, the kids of an elderly uh, woman. And uh, she still lived in the same house where they grew up. And so it was just her big house. So they moved into that house. Plus, they were making like $6,000 a month. <laughs> so Yeah, that's, that's what I used to do back in my younger days. So I, I lived with a woman. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. So, you know, yeah. So the way they, they found that is they put on the paper. But I don't know if you're still up for doing that. Uh, it's hard with my daughter, but we'll see. Yeah. I gotta, I gotta take something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that's, uh, I'll be keeping you in my prayers for sure. Uh, Thank you. Yeah, yeah, because it is tough. You know, it is tough uh, with, when uh, when money's going out and nothing is coming in and then, you know, no, no, uh, no job. I mean, that makes it really hard. Yep. Okay. Fucking sucks. <laughs> oh man we've been there i've been there many times so oh man i i feel free well you I, I am here you know you let me know um you know if um if i can do anything for you i can be a, a, a resource you know of course i'm you know connected to some people also that uh own some some, yeah, some companies and I, stuff so i have my my payment just went through my mortgage so and then i have enough for like I said, for March, and then after that, I'm going to be in dire straits. So mm. hopefully, something will pan out in the next month. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll I'll follow up with you just to see how you're doing uh, next month or so, and uh, you know, we yeah. can catch up. Thank you. You got it. Thank you, Megan. You have a good day. Okay. You too. Bye. -bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye. You know, you run into these kinds of situations most of the time.
um, you're not doing like a deal right then and there. But um, you just kind of be of help. And then eventually, you know, uh, it will pan and pan out. Uh, sometimes it doesn't, I'm not going to lie. But when it does, it's, it's really, really, really awesome because you did something for somebody, they got out of that situation. And then, you know, you, you, uh, you ended up doing a good deal. So she has not been able to find a job. She was uh, behind on her mortgage but has since caught up and has enough for another month but from there she doesn't know what she's going to do period she has been applying two jobs and has not been hired they keep hiring other people period she was a live-in caregiver and she was good at it and also worked for the government doing finance stuff period she has a daughter a daughter so life is very hard for her. So I said I would follow up with her to see how she's doing next month, period. Okay, so. Okay. I'll take it, <laughs> you know, so the hardest thing is getting started and getting traction and having deals in the pipeline, you know, so that they can start closing and, and doing things like that. So Okay, let's see here, it has not sold, no, it hasn't. Okay, great. Table and double. Available now. Please make your name and phone number. Okay. Well, even though we have not been able to connect really with a potential. Yay, hey, Tom, how are you? This is Ben. Man. Yeah, yeah, we had, we had spoken before about uh, your property there on Merkley Avenue. Oh, yeah, yeah, how you doing? Oh, doing fantastic, doing fantastic. Very, very just, uh, just wanted to see it, reconnect, see if uh, we, can, uh, we can do a deal here, see if you still wanted to sell it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not quite ready. It probably be a few more months, probably. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I'm just not ready to, to to make the move yet. I got a lot of stuff still to move, and 
some things I got to do. But uh, yeah, no, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not ready yet. Probably be about another, I'd say, three to five months, probably somewhere like that. Okay. And, I, and, 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 and just the way it is, which is nothing really needs to be done. Uh, I'm just going to change some, uh, you know, some things in the front bathroom. But other than that, everything's in perfect shape. I'm not going to take no less than 480. Okay. Not even close to, uh, close to four, you know, like that. I'm not taking no less than 480 for it. So I, I don't sure. need to sell it. Uh, I need to pay it off. Mm-hmm. And so, like, that, I'm just, you know, I'm in no big hurry. So. Yeah, yeah, no no problem. We had discussed the 480 before. Uh, yep. That's no problem right, there. Right. So, uh, so yeah, yep. I'll give you a ring. And like a, it's, a, it's a three bedroom, two bath. Two car garage in the back. Three cars can fit in. The front garage can drive through. Three cars can fit in before you even get to the, the two car garage in the back. Oh, fantastic! So, yeah, that's good. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's that's uh, it's all tile. It's it's real nice. Inner walls were all insulated. Mm-hmm. Uh, custom built fireplace, gas log lighter, mm-hmm. on demand hot water. It's a, it's a beautiful home. So, like I said, I'm in no hurry to sell right now. I, I, you know, we got a couple rentals. And, couple people oh. to, to, to rent it and I'm not interested in renting it but when I am ready to sell I'll, I'll let you know I got your number on my phone okay? you got it you got it sounds good I appreciate it Tom okay man Thank you got you. it thanks bye bye okay. he said he won't take no less than 480 but he still about three to five months out so we can call him back later okay so um, yeah and this is just the business you know uh, business we're in so there you go we got we got somebody i think it'll it'll work And because, like I said, I'm not not looking for a wholesale or a flip. We're looking for deals that we can cash flow. We want to cash flow them. You know, give them the 480 if um, if it makes sense. So now I have to just run the numbers, and we have to kiss a lot of frogs to to get to. Uh, to find the deals, but we're okay with that. You know, I'd rather put in the work now, you know, and then steadily work towards my retirement than, you know, work for somebody. And then at the end of it, I got nothing, you know? So, okay. So that's going to make, that's going to do it for today. Uh, next video, hopefully we can connect with a lot more people. But at least we got two potentials today, just like always, potentials and keep revisiting. So Megan, we have to revisit next month uh, and he we have to revisit in three months. So we're filling up the pipeline. We're filling up the pipeline. You know, we come, we document the conversations. So by the time that we come back, you know, they're going to be a little bit closer and closer and closer. And then we'll start closing deals. So Please uh, keep that in mind. This is not an easy game. You have to kiss a lot of frogs. You have to work with a lot of data and uh, you have to just be consistent. I, I am consistent and you can tell, look at all my videos. You know, this is week 23, day number four. And uh, we've been doing this consistently, putting out at least five videos every single week. And in most, in, in some cases, a lot of cases, uh, really, we have put out, you know, like more than five videos, six, seven, eight, nine, ten videos in a week, uh, which is a lot of work. So we're doing the real estate, we're doing, you know, the YouTube channel, we're closing deals, we're partnering with people. I have a lot of partners, you know, so that helps minimize the workload on my end uh, because you know they get most of the deal and so that's fantastic for me because I don't have to do all of the work you know so you get all of you do all the work you get everything you do some of the work you know 
you get some of the the reward and I'm okay with some of the reward. You know, I'm not a greedy man. Uh, I, like I said, I am happy with, um, you know, four or 5,000 a month. I actually could live very comfortably with only five. I mean, only four grand a month. Very, very comfortably. You know, 3,500 a month is, is good for me. You know, I mean, I could literally live on two grand a month. Uh, and sometimes I do, you know, uh, even though I have kids and, and everything else, but uh, we don't have mortgage payments. We don't have rent, you know, stuff like that. So uh, car paid for that type of stuff. So why do I need to spend two grand on you know food and some things, you know, bills and stuff like that? Aside from that, I'm, I'm doing, I'm doing good. So hopefully this inspires you. I'm not trying to be a millionaire through real estate. I know that most people that talk about this, they tell you, oh, you know, you can be a millionaire, you know, and they can, they can focus on that. I like the slow and steady, make my calls, spend time with my kids, make my calls, spend time with my kids. Occasionally I will do a flip. My kids will come out and help me. Uh, that type of stuff. They learn the business. Uh, so I don't, I don't take money from banks primarily because, you know, I got foreclosed on many, many years ago. Uh, and I decided, you know what, I am not going to take, uh, loans from, from banks. I got, I got to figure something out. So I started, you know, raising private capital. Uh, it was a lot better, you know, but now I try to raise all my capital from my sellers. That's why I, you know, one phone call can get, has the potential to get us a good deal and get us also the financing for that deal with one phone call. It's called creative real estate investing. So if you're into it, uh, drop me a line, you know, contact me, send me an email or, you know, look below for ways to contact me and let's link up and see if we can do deals together. Look forward to hearing from you until next time, next video coming up right now. See you next time. Thanks.